What's up, folks? Got a little, uh, got a little exciting stuff to show you guys today. It's a, uh, it's the first calf of uh, spring '23, and that's always exciting. I love seeing new babies. And anyway. Here they are. I know that's a little hard to see, but uh, that gal right there is uh, is her mama. She is a little heifer. Uh, number two here, or as my kids have named Laney. I don't know. I don't know if you'll remember or not, but uh, I was talking about her previously, and uh, she's decided to stand up. Anyway, I had talked about uh, Laney previously and uh, commented that she had had a, a little bag on her, as we call it. And uh, that just means uh, the term to have a little bag on her means that her uh, udder basically is filling up. And uh, generally speaking, that means there's a calf on the way soon. And... Uh, I actually was kind of worried because I thought she was a little early, but uh, turns out I went back and looked, and she's basically on schedule. Uh, our heifer bull was put in with her the first of June, so uh, she's she's right on time, no issues there. Now they are kind of tied up in here, kind of. They are. They're they're isolated in the pen. Uh, this little heifer, uh, which from here forward will be named Tina, or called Tina, uh, she was actually born on a friend of ours' birthday, and uh, she commented and said, hey, uh, you know, she's born on my birthday, won't we call her Tina? I said, that sounds good to me. Everybody needs a name. And uh, anyway, y'all check that out. So little Tina uh, was born two days ago. Uh, I'd venture to say, whoop, I would venture to say uh, sometime after lunch, two days ago. Uh, I found her day before yesterday, uh, and she was she was fresh. I mean, they were still in the birth spot, whole nine yards. Uh, all the leftovers were there, everything. So, uh, didn't see any issue. Mama was right there with her. And uh, that's always a good sign. You you it, you got to be careful. You got to pay attention to these first calf uh, heifers, uh, especially these like out here. Uh, they don't have an older cow to kind of show them the ropes. Uh, so anyway, everything seemed fine. Left her there, and uh, yesterday when I came out, couldn't find her, and uh, couldn't find Tina. Now number two laney uh she was out uh having her a little lunch whole nine yards and uh, anyway so i went on the hunt got worried i went to to where she was born at uh placenta leftovers all that was gone and i said oh gosh i was afraid a coyote or a dog or something had gotten her but uh anyway after about 15 minutes i found her uh she was stashed away which is Typically, them being stashed away is a good sign. Uh, a lot of times, mom will hide them out and then uh, and then go back to eating. What concerned me, uh, so I watched her. She didn't move, and I, I made some noise. And usually, they'll they'll jump up and, and take off, even just at a day old. And uh, so anyway, sorry about that. So anyway. Uh, I watched her for a little bit and she didn't move and uh i'd kind of i had she was she was laying down and i went to pick up under her head to see if she could pick her head up and her eyes were open and, and everything working and uh she just basically tongue lolled out the side head flopped over i was like holy crap she's she's going down uh, and uh my concern was that mom had forgotten her or ignored her or not accepted her or whatever 
And uh, so called the wife, told her, I was like, hey, you know, grab the bottles, grab the vitamins, you know, come down here. We're going to get this little calf up, see if we can, can uh, give her a little head start and get her going. And uh, in the meantime, because Ashley was, uh, she was about an hour away. So uh, I wasn't going to waste that time. I left uh, Tina the calf where she was and uh, and got her mama up, which her mama was close to the pen anyway. And uh, so I got her mama coaxed into the pen and uh, sorted out from the rest of the cows. They, they naturally wanted to come with her. And uh, anyway, got her, got her sorted out and uh, then went and got little Tina and brought her in. And still, mama just wasn't having a lot to do with her. And uh, I let them calm down. Of course, she was wound up. And uh, I I was over in the shop doing some other stuff. And I look over, and little Tina is, I mean, across the pen 20 miles an hour. So I'm like, hey, that's a good sign. She's, she's lively. And uh, so anyway, really what I wanted to talk about here... Uh, was just that it, that's some of the stuff you got to watch with a with the first calf heifer and uh you got to make sure that bond is built and that and she's accepted and and that she knows you know what her job is and uh so i can find her in here and uh i had a couple of other options if this close confinement wasn't enough uh there's some other things you can do you you can uh what they call hobble which basically you tie I, I usually do the two back legs together and uh just kind of it, it doesn't immobilize them but it slows them down and it and gives that calf a chance to uh catch up with her but uh i, I watched her and she was eating she was a little nervous she she was she wasn't doing real good, wasn't real strong, but uh, she was getting at least a little bit. So I said, hey, all right, I'm gonna leave them tonight. Came back out today and uh, she, she seems to be doing pretty good, pretty strong. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them one more day in here and, uh, and then I'm gonna let them loose and kind of see how they go. Uh, I think she's going to be okay. She's pretty fast. Uh, I, I wish I could have caught it earlier. When I came around, uh, I had the tractor out here running. When I came around, these all these heifers on the outside were, were over here by the highway. And uh, they were excited. Thought they were going to get some fresh groceries. So they come, you know, kind of pretty good trot over here. And uh, little Tina was laid down on the other end of this pen uh, back over here. And uh, buddy, let me tell you something. She got excited and she got up and got moving in a hurry. So I'm not overly concerned. Uh, it is, I, I don't have, a, they make a, uh, I forget the name of it. They make a, like a, a vitamin pack that's a paste and, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but uh, that's another good sign. Uh, if a if a calf is is struggling with its first bowel movement, which will happen pretty quick, uh, if a calf is struggling with her first bowel movement, the mama will uh, will lick back there in the in the rear end area, and uh, I don't know exactly what that does, but it or why it does it, I should say. Uh, but it'll stimulate them to go ahead and uh, and get moving. So keep that in mind. If you've got a calf, uh, like a bottle calf that's fresh and uh, doesn't seem to be having any bowel movements out the back end, uh, warm wash rag, a little rub job there right around the uh, the the nether areas, and uh, more often than not they'll they'll cut loose. But uh, anyway. I to get back to where I was at. I had had to think about that for a second. Well, anyway, lost my train of thought. But nevertheless, uh, so anyway, little Tina, she's pretty active. Oh, I know where I was going. Uh, vitamin. 
paste. Uh, they make some some pretty potent stuff, uh, and I'll show you guys. I'll probably try to tag it on the end of this video, but uh, uh, today is Easter Sunday, and uh, yesterday evening, by the time I got out here, uh, all the stores were closed, so I didn't have an opportunity to grab some. But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go uh, grab some of this stuff, and I'm going to give little Tina a uh, a shot of that paste, and it's got, I mean, it's like like b12 stuff like that and uh it'll really help them out so i'm gonna keep them in here one more day and uh i hope you guys can see that she's getting her some dinner and uh, it's a little hard to tell but that little light colored speck right there that's a poop that's uh that's little tina's poop and uh, another good sign so, anyway, what I wanted to cover was just some little bit of information. Uh, I know the way meat prices and stuff are right now. Uh, there's a lot of people that have got, you know, decent sized yards and stuff like that that uh, have gotten or are considering getting a bottle calf. Uh, it's a pretty inexpensive way to get started. Uh, either to make you a little herd out of or uh or to eat later on but uh you know a lot of times that happens pretty quick and somebody has the idea like hey you know i could i could raise a bottle calf or whatever and uh they may or may not have any idea what what to watch out for and uh and on top of that a lot of times uh a calf will be especially by an older experienced cow that's had a few calves if they think for some reason that there is something wrong with that calf uh they'll they'll just leave it and that's kind of nature's natural selection uh so there's other things to watch out for but anyway just kind of wanted to bring some of that stuff up uh it's very important like th this first couple days two three days uh, that's when the mama's got her colostrum and stuff in there. And, uh, you know, that udder's got four holes in it. So it's, it's much better if that calf's got an opportunity to at least get a few shots out of each side and uh, is get as much of that as it can. Cause I mean, that, that colostrum, I, I don't know exactly what all's in it, but, uh, it's good stuff. I, ain't no doubt about it. But anyway, like I said, I just kind of want to talk about some of these things that, uh, oh, fence popping. And boy, that new fence charter, she is hot. Golly, she's hot. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to kind of go over some of that stuff and, uh, maybe give somebody a, a glint of information, uh, help them in the right direction if they end up in that situation. So anyway, uh, that's kind of the end of it. It's not as good a sunset as many of them, but it is a sunset and it is Easter Sunday. And uh, just want to give you all some food for thought and a little information. So be safe and we'll see you next time.